All right, guys, back with another Bernie Williams video. This one's gonna be for FLIR products. Not so many in this one, so should be very quick, but I didn't wanna add anything else to this stack because I'm kinda liking splitting the videos up by brand like this. So first here's a bad card from FLIR Authority, which was one of the many FLIR products that were coming out around that time. You might see some FLIR products that you never even heard of in this video. Here's a FLIR Platinum Rookie Card Edition, which I think was like an update or something like that for FLIR Platinum. Nice pinstripe relic there. And here's one of my favorites from the entire collection. This one from FLIR Legacy. Hot gloves with a piece of a game used baseball kind of clever how they did that putting the baseball inside the glove yeah really nice looking die cut and then I have two of these from Flair Authentics they're both the same one this is this gray road jersey but this is the ripped version of these it's kind of smaller than a regular card so it's supposed to be like a ripped ticket and there are full versions where it's a full card, but those are numbered. Again, for Bernie, I just have two of the same kind here. I do have one of the full ones for Orlando Hernandez, which I think those are numbered to like 50. Here's one from EX. Piece of a game used base. Which they were doing a lot during that time. I feel like they started to overdo the game use base thing. Not just Flair, like every every company was doing game use base cards. But then after a while they just kind of stopped. Here's a nice triple relic with Bernie Jeter and Mike Messina. Not sure if you can tell, but the Bernie jersey's a bit dirty. And for some reason they went with a bat for Jeter instead of a jersey and then Nice pinstripe for Moose. A few more. Here's another bat card from Fleer Tradition. I got this one from Dustin Abraham in a Just Because mail day. And I know that because I kept the post-it on it. Wish I would have done that years ago with a lot of the stuff I was getting in the mail because sometimes it can be tough to remember where certain things came from. But yeah, really cool one there. Thanks for that, Dustin. Here's one from Fleer Patchworks. So these had different levels. This is a level three, which is supposed to be like a multicolor patch. It says multi right there. But instead they get just put a like a thick navy blue patch, which is either from the number or from the logo. So it still looks cool, but would have been even cooler if they actually put a multicolor swatch in there. That's number to 50. Now this next one does have a multicolor swatch. This one from Fleer Platinum. There you see the three color patch. Got the road gray and the white and the navy blue. Also a bat piece. Really sweet looking card. Number to 20. I remember I got this on COMC for like three bucks just because it has like chipping along the edges But it doesn't bother me at all. I'll pay that any day for a card like that And then last one for Fleer is a nice dual-sided Jersey card Bernie's actually the back of the card number to 199 The front of the card is Gary Sheffield but obviously the Bernie side is more important to me. I like Gary Sheffield too, but obviously this goes in the Bernie collection for me. So that's the end of Fleer. I think I might do tops next, but not 100% sure. I gotta take a look and decide how I wanna divide the rest of the stuff up. But I'll catch you all in the next one.